Welcome back to the another video of Python Open PY Excel. In this video, we will see how can we do some calculation and write the result of that calculation into one Excel cell and how can we apply formula in each cell. We have already seen one video in which we have looked through entire sheet row by row and we have read and write and we have performed read and write operations using Open PY Excel. And in the next video is how can we apply color style using open py excel and how can we apply conditional formatting in open py excel after that we will also see how can we create different kind of chart using open py excel you can subscribe to the channel for more videos hit the like button because a like is a real support for a youtube channel so now let's start today's discussion right now on your screen you can see the code that i that we have used in the last video to loop on each row and this is the data what I am going to do here, I will be using two total columns. So in first total, you will see the data which is coming with the calculation that we will write in code itself. And the second will be from the formula. And what I will do is I will use these two columns, I and J, and that is on the index of 9 and 10. All right. So uh, we have used these two variables last time. I think these two variables are no more required. So what we can do is just remove these variables. And you can write here a sales value. Sales value is into ninth column. And the second is quantity value all right so quantity value is in column 10 and row will remain same i think and if you want to use these values here you just have to read the exchange and this line is just for the explanation so if you want you can keep it to see the output if you want you can delete it and these both are the numerical values and only multiply operations. So for that, what we have to do is we have to convert these values in integer. So I'll just write I and T bracket open. And here I will close the bracket so that entire value is changed into integer. If you want, you can try with float also. Then you have to use str here also if you want to print these integer values. All right, and we don't need this line now. We have to write the result into column 11. And what should be that result? That result should be this into sales into quantity. So open PY Excel you have to you can directly assign the and then if you want to apply the formula what you have to do is the formula should be like it should come in 12 and you can directly use a string value so what i'm going to use is if i apply formula here it should be i into j and then the row index okay so now let's try this here i2 into j2 okay what we have to do is this we don't we want to we want to use the dynamic formula so equal sign should also come here and this 2 has to be replaced with the row index and what is our row index so if i just I have to concatenate the string here, two plus signs, two quotes and plus signs, str, then row number plus two. Why, we, why do we use row number plus two? Because index in the enumerate will start from zero and uh, row index in x will start from one. After that, we are using first row for header. So total zero to the difference is 2. That's why we have to use this 2. And 
then just change same thing here also. Okay, I hope you can see the entire formula. And this we are writing in 12. We are saving into a different output file. And I hope you can see the entire code on your screen right now. And I will just remove. So before I run, please hit the like button if you have not done so. See the entire code on your screen. And these are the two, if you want to use very complex formulas, then these are the two open PYXL classes, tokenizer and translator that you can explore from the open PYXL documentation. But now let's run this simply, this very simple thing and uh, see the result. You, you can see the output here from the excel this is just for like our loop is working fine or not now go and check the output so you can see you can see here the formula is perfectly fine this is the result of the formula and this is the result of calculation in the code Let's get back to the code. Please have a look on the entire code for upcoming video. And this is the upcoming video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share your feedback in comments and subscribe to the channel for more videos.